And we just share Christ crucified. We share the new birth. Men aren't so interested in a religious doctrine. They're really interested in a change of direction through the power of Christ within. And so that day I got down and asked Christ in my life with Ray. And from that day on, as Ray come by and encouraged me to read and study, and I just praise God that as he seen my need that day, you know, that he reached down and he touched me. I walked up to one of the guys that I knew real well, Al Boccaccio, and I said, hey, Al, man, what's the matter? He said, John Fry was killed this morning. And I heard that still, small voice say, just as easily, you had a 44, anybody that could have been you. I said, God, I'm a nothing and I'm a nobody, but whatever I've got, it's yours. And at that moment, I felt a peace like I'd never felt before, like a Mack truck had just rolled off of me. I can even love cops, man. And I used to hate cops. When you're working out on the street, you become just as the people that you're working with. I hate to use the word animal, but that's just exactly how you become. You work with people that hate you, and you wind up hating people. But just recently, I've found a way that I can deal with people. I found a way of loving people that I've never found before, and that's through our Lord Jesus Christ. Real rehabilitation comes through the knowledge and the acceptance of Jesus Christ as Savior. Because when a man's life is changed, and when his attitude is changed, and his heart is changed, and he has a new brain and a new heart, uh, he's going to be a different person. That's what I needed. <laughs> I needed a new brain, you know, and new attitudes. All those years caught up with me, man. Bam, bam, bam. It finally hit me. I was totally crazy. Well, God changed all that. He actually healed my brain. The ego trip of, of being part of, say, a motorcycle club, it's something that, that fills you with something that isn't real. The Lord can fill you with something that's real. The love, the, the, the joy, the grace of God. Jesus knows how many hairs I got in my head. He knows how many marks I got on my body. And he's not up there saying, Jerry, are you having a good time? Well, cool it. He wants me to have a good time. He wants to bless me. And he's done that. You know, I got wall to wall happiness, man. You want a pardon? You want a pardon? Come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Ask Jesus Christ, don't ask him to get out. Don't ask him to bring your old lady back. Ask him for a new brain. Ask him for a new life.